Hi guys, Ryan here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you my notes on downloading a full website using wget. Wget is a command line utility that comes installed by default on most Linux distributions. It has many uses, but in this video, I'm just going to show you one example of what you can do with wget and that is making a website available offline locally on your computer. Downloading a copy of a website to your computer might come in handy if for example internet connection is not always available or you just want to save a copy of a website for later use. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do it. The first step is to create a new directory where you want to download the website. So on your terminal you can type mkdir and then the name of the directory that you want to create. I'm going to name mine downloaded websites and after changing into that directory with cd downloaded websites you can go ahead and type the following commands wget dash dash limit dash rate equals 200k dash dash no dash clobber dash dash convert dash links dash dash random dash weight dash r dash p dash capital e dash e robots equals off dash capital u mozilla and the website address that you want to download let's say i want to download this website learn you haskell.com so I'm going to copy that address and append it at the end of the command. You can then hit the return key to start the download. So what do these switches actually do? Well, the limit rate 200k limits the download to 200 kilobytes per second the no clubber makes sure you don't overwrite any existing files this is used in cases where you are resuming an interrupted download the convert links converts the links so they can work locally offline instead of pointing to a website online the random weight randomly waits between downloads so it won't look obvious that we are downloading the website because websites don't like their websites downloaded the dash r stands for recursive this will download the full website the dash p same as page requisites switch gets all images etc needed to display the html page the dash capital E saves HTML and CSS documents with proper extensions. The dash E robots equals off tells the wget to act like we are not a robot or a web crawler because websites don't like it. The dash capital U Mozilla tells wget to pretend to be like a Mozilla browser looking at a page instead of a robot or a web crawler. When it's finished downloading, if you type ls, you can see that wget created a directory with the same name as the website address that you downloaded. To open it and see if your download works, you can go inside that directory and open the index.html file. Let me just disconnect my Wi-Fi connection as a proof of concept. And if I open the index.html file, you can see that it opens in my browser and I can go through the pages of the website even if I'm offline. There is another way of doing it that allows you to download it in the background so that you can get out of your terminal and it will still continue working. That is to combine it with no hop at the beginning of the command and an ampersand at the end. 
The output is piped to a file called nohop.out in the same directory where you ran the command. Let's actually try it out. On your terminal, you can press the up arrow key to go back to the last command that you typed and go to the very beginning of the command and type no hop and that and then at the end of the command put an ampersand then hit return now if I close my terminal I can go back to my download by typing tail dash f no hop dot out and that's basically it I hope you find this video useful and if you do please like share and subscribe for more